Well, a very good morning from me, Neil Maurice, on this Saturday. It is the 17th of September and I shall be heading to my local track of Newbury. And one race that I'm really looking forward to, well, I'm going to have to wait for that. It's the uh, race that I call the Nightcap, uh, the 510, uh, the end of play, really. But I think there is a horse well worth waiting for. And I'm going to call this my happy and glorious horse. Now, the reason for that is that trainer... Heather Main is far from a one-trick pony. Not only is she an accomplished trainer, and she's done us the odd favour with her handicaps through the summer, or handicappers through the summer, but she's also an accomplished opera singer. And she will go on the rostrum and sing the national anthem in a commemoration and respect of the late Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II before racing starts. And that, I believe, can be followed by more joyous and completely different celebration after this 510, in which she saddles horse number seven, Marshall Dan. Now, the thing about Marshall Dan, not only is this horse a good operator here at Newbury, it's got an excellent record at the track, but I felt when it finished second at Newcastle the other day, and I did tip you it on that occasion, I think it was 25 to 1, and it ran an absolute stormer in one of those racing league races. Clear indication that back to its last winning mark, this horse is on the verge of a major renaissance. Not only that, Gina Mangan, who is riding, claiming the five pounds, is a wonderful apprentice. Her recent record is really exemplary. I saw her at Newbury yesterday. She really is loving her riding. And I think on Marshall down here, a massive chance of a conversion. 13 to 2 is uh, a sky bet price with six places. Other firms, I've seen 15 to 2, I think, with uh, Bet365. Um, I think they were six or possibly five. But most of the firms here going five places each way. Number seven, Marshall Dan in the 510 at Newbury. And for trainer Heather Main and jockey Gina Mangan, let's hope that this is a happy and glorious occasion, not quite as sombre as it will start, but a little bit more joyous when it finishes.